phagocytosis. We have used this term many times in our previous video lectures. We also know that phagocytosis forms the part of second line of defense. In this video lecture, we will see what actually phagocytosis is. In Greek, phagin means to eat, site means cell and osis means a process. So, phagocytosis is a process of ingestion and uptake of microbes and other substances via cell. Phagocytosis is used by phagocytic cells of our immune system to get rid of the pathogens which have breached first line of defense. We also know that the cells that perform phagocytosis are known as phagocytes. The main type of phagocytes in human immune system are monocytes, macrophages, neutrophils and dendritic cells. The main function of these phagocytes is to destroy the engulfed pathogen. So for this purpose, these phagocytes are equipped with some intracellular compartments such as lysosomes which contain microbicidal substances. These microbicidal substances include enzymes such as lysozyme, nucleases, proteases, lipases or substances such as hydrogen peroxide. If talking about dendritic cells, these cells are a special group of phagocytic cells since besides performing the processing of the engulfed antigen that is antigen processing it also do antigen presentation which we will study in adaptive immunity. Let us now study mechanism of phagocytosis. Phagocytosis the whole process can be studied under these five steps. First step is recognition of invading microbe. Second, ingestion and formation of phagosome. Third, formation of phagolysosome. Fourth, microbial killing and formation of residual body. And fifth, elimination or exocytosis. Let's study them in detail one by one. From our previous lectures, we know that the phagocyte, such as a macrophage, has pathogen recognition receptors on their plasma membrane. These pathogen recognition receptors recognize specific molecular patterns on the invading microbes, such as bacteria. And these molecular patterns are known as PAMPs, that is, pathogen associated molecular patterns. So, this is a phagocyte, for example, a macrophage. And here, intracellular compartment lysosome is shown. It contains antigen receptors, which are pathogen recognition receptors. And this is a invading microbe, say bacteria. And these are representing the molecular patterns, which are known as PAMPs. The first step of phagocytosis that is recognition of the invading microbe happens when the specific pathogen recognition receptors interact with the PMPs of the microbial surface. In the next step, the plasma membrane of the phagocytes extends and surrounds the bound microbe. Now, the membrane surrounding the pathogen pinches off and internalize the microbe by forming a sac known as phagosome or phagocytic vesicle. Now, this phagosome fuses with one or more lysosome inside the cytoplasm of the phagocyte. Now we know that lysosome contain digestive enzymes and microbicidal substances. This fusion results in the formation of a larger structure which is known as phagolysosome. So what is phagolysosome? It is a structure which is formed by fusion of phagosome and lysosomes. 
the resulting phagolysosome has an acidic environment and variety of enzymes are contributed by lysosomes as we said before such as lipases, nucleases, proteases, lysozyme together these enzymes and acidic environment together they result in destruction of the internalized microbe once the killing and digestion of the engulfed microbial cell happens only indigestible material remains in the sac and this sac containing the indigestible material is known as residual body this residual body then moves towards the cell boundary and discharges its waste outside the cell this process is known as exocytosis let us now summarize the whole process of phagocytosis it starts with recognition of the microbe this recognition results in internalization or ingestion of the microbe this internalization results in the formation of a sac known as phagosome this phagosome fuses with lysosome to produce another large vacuole known as phagolysosome in this phagocyte lysosome microbial killing takes place which further results in formation of a compartment known as residual body which contains indigestible material after microbial killing and finally the indigestible material is removed out of the cell by the process known as exocytosis let us now see how phagocytosis by neutrophils is different neutrophils are the most numerous phagocytes and also they are most lethal among phagocytes they are highly specialized phagocytes this is because they contain three types of cytoplasmic granules namely primary granules secondary granules and tertiary granules these granules contain diverse type of microbicidal substances and contribute to phagocytosis one important feature of neutrophils is that once microbial killing is complete they undergo apoptosis so they are short lived and these dead neutrophils are phagocytized by the macrophages so we have come to the end of this video lecture and i hope phagocytosis is clear to you